Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the ring from Rochester, Sonny Whitting. Sonny Whitting, 28 year old from Kent. Two wins, one by knockout, 10 defeats, three by knockout on his professional card at the moment. Has been to York Hall before, knows this arena. Super welterweight action. Coming your way against Davis Pagan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent from Chelmsford, Davis Pagan. Once again, you can tell who the crowd favourite is. Pagan in his third fight of his professional career. Starting with two victories, both here at York Hall. Another man who is very familiar with this setting. And you touched on it earlier, Hollywood. Just how much easier it is to come out for your early fights, knowing the arena, knowing where you're going to be, and the, and the atmosphere, and the kind of feel of the venue. It's true. But there's some fighters that strive on being an away fighter, where there's no pressure. As you can see with uh, the last fight. It'll be interesting to see if Pagan does rise to the pressure of the home support here at York Hall. Both coming in at about six foot. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Helios now raises the box and presents four figure rounds in the Super Welterweight Division. And in the red corner, wearing the black shorts, weighing in at 11 stone, 5 pounds, 11 ounces. Entering his 15th contest from Rochester, Sonny Whitting! And his opponent flies at the blue corner, wearing the black shorts with the blue trim, weighing in at 11 stone, 4 pounds, and 11 ounces. Entering the ring with a record two wins and no defeats from Chelmsford. Davis Pagan! For a record of congratulations to Lee Everett. Both standing at around about six foot. We know. Real advantage in terms of height. Two evenly matched fighters. A really interesting one, the 25 year old Pagan. Perhaps there's a touch of youth on his side compared to Whiting, only 28 years old. Whiting in the blue and white. With the old school boots. <laughs> <laughs> Pagan keeping it new school, I think, as we should say there, with the bright blue boots and the Definitely. black trunks with the gold and silver union jack as we get underway in round one and both trading blows almost immediately. Coming out for action hit. from Pagan to start. He's flicking out that jab. No skittishness, staying tall. Keeping Sonny Whiting just up bay, keeping him moving around the edge of the ring. Vicious right coming through, and Pagan replies back. Instantly. How important is that when you take a little knock just to remind your opponent that he can't get away with doing that? Especially if you see the opportunity. If he doesn't bring his hand back in time, go for it. There we go, look, he's straight back in. Launching a couple of one-two combos and punishing Whiting almost with the audacity of getting yeah. aggressive. Oh, he does it again. So he's now shown him he's open for that right. And Sonny just going to keep throwing that right every time he sees it. There we go, see? That's three times in the truck. That's where the damage is going to come from Lil Whiting now, using that left hand just to break through the heart of the defences of Pagan. Oh, 
Really interesting first round, this yeah, one. Yeah, very technical, actually, very technical. Yeah, shot, shot just the into the body. Big swing with the left, slightly off balance there, Pagan. Pagan's very open for that right hand. Right, he just needs to take the opportunities when they come. He's used that right hook a couple of times. It's landed. It's not been a devastating blow just yet. Pagan far more willing to be the aggressor, though. Nice right pop shot. You can hear the trainers. And a Ooh. big right again, followed again. up with a left. Pagan trying to fight back. He was rattled by that one. But he responded well. Point you recognise that you are open though with that right hand as he pops one back straight down the centre. And again. Pagan instigating but both trading blows. That's round one in the books. <laughs> Hollywood, how do you score that in terms of an Ooh. opening round? Pagan, the initial aggressor, but Whiting touched on it time and time again. Three or four big right hands. That's true. But, every um, time Pagan came in, he was still able to land a reply, Whiting. It's true, but Pagan responded aggressively every time he took a shot, so I'll give him that round. Neither fighter looking too rattled, although heavy breathing from both as the first round ends. It was a good first round, very technical. They asked a lot of questions, but... Um, you can yeah. tell as well, the crowd enjoying the action. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Especially straight from the get-go, round one here of our second bout of the evening. But Pagan definitely needs to address being able to defend that right hand coming in. Ten seconds. It was very impressive, Pagan, in his first ever bout against Terry George. That was back in April. Terry George was my first opponent, actually. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Just a quick word with Whiting before we start round two. That's good, they're flicking out the jab again. Pagan with a right of his own to start the round. Trying to fight fire with fire. As you say, both just trying to find a way in with the left hand and follow up with the right. Connected with that lunge forward. Good one. But he did surprising. Ooh. Caught him there. That was a left hook. Caught Sonny right on the draw. And the early onus with Pagan. Almost trying to spear him through the ropes <laughs> there. Thought they were coming through the ring for a moment. Pay us a little visit. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to get too close to the action tonight, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that Pagan has addressed that right hand a bit now. He's keeping his hand up a little bit more. Yeah, that left guard is nice and high. Let's we'll see if he can maintain open. it. Overhand right. Nice. Catching. Whiting just around the left side of the face. Even a spring and a little hop skip in the... Part of the ring from Pagan to show he's not draining in energy just yet. Yes, he's definitely addressed the right hand from Sonny. Leading forward again, Whitey just trying to lean back and duck away as they go at each other in the corner. Oh, big right hand, gets right the way through. Straight right, Whiting just almost walked into that for a moment. I thought it was rattled and Pagan and the crowd sense that this one is certainly going the 25-year-old's way. Whiting doesn't look too staggered by it, actually. Maybe he rid the shot as it came in. Because he does tend to lean as the shot comes in. It's a hefty thud. But that head movement of just arching back slightly has been... Helping out the Definitely. boy from Kent. A little pop from him as well, getting that left jab working again. So 
Trying to land a big body shot with the right hand, Pagan. Wearing him down. So it's turning a bit ugly now. Just a little elbow. Yeah. Right. Crowd doesn't really not liking it. Neither the crowd, as you say here. <laughs> They want to let the boys fight as round two comes to an end. That was a good round. I think we can sense that that one is certainly going Pagan's way. Definitely. And um, you can see now from the first round, it's definitely stepped up now. They've asked the questions and now it's about a war of attrition. How difficult is it to readjust when your first round, uh, there's definitely be a weakness shown as Pagan did with that right hand of Whiting getting through. How difficult is it to go into the corner, focus up, readjust while you're being told almost so much at times when you're sat there. It's true. And, that, and, and remember that, come, that. That really comes down to the training you have and how, si how he can simplify something as simple as <coughs> watch out for his right hand rather than just giving a whole load of information which you're not going to be able to take in. So his coach obviously told him the right thing and he came and addressed that issue. Pagan looking confident. Just leaning back in his corner. Round three. The penultimate round. Round three. Coming with a nice high guard again. Itchy trigger fingers with that left jab from both of them. Yeah. Whiting swinging and missing with a right uppercut. Pagan back, strong left though. Good counter. Whiting seemed like he had the jab coming through. One, two, three punches, but that vicious left hook just coming round the side. Yeah. Pagan again catching him. And almost bringing a right hand down on the middle of the spine of Whiting as he tried <laughs> to duck away and yeah. avoid the shots. Whiting has been leaning a lot. And that's what's making the fight a bit ugly, but it's survival techniques, guess. He slappers that body shot. May have actually caught more glove than body. The right hand from Pagan. Good job. Good head movement, just ducking away, Whiting. He's trying to hit Pagan when he comes in, but. Pagan almost comes in so thick and fast, yeah. it's difficult to find a way Charges through. Charges in. It's a nice counter hook. Lining him up. Put a straight. Yeah. Couple of left hands and then that right coming through. Writing, ducking Good away, jab. takes a left jab straight Stiff to the jab. nose. Almost boxing 101 that, use that left to wear down the opponent, keep him at bay. I'm just getting the feeling that Whiting's trying to move around and just stop Pagan from settling and then coming in. He needs to start flicking out that jab, Whiting. Whiting, he didn't react well to that. Moving on for his life almost. <laughs> that the walks a bit. Didn't that was a good round. Once again, I think you have to say Pagan. The more impressive of the fight is Whiting at times. Definitely, and, he, and he, um, he kept his hand up. Didn't take too many of those rights that he was taking in the first round. You mentioned it, that body shot right towards the end of the round mm. really seemed to rattle Whiting. Yeah. Ten seconds. Very useful, I'm sure, to be able to take a few knocks and get through to <laughs> the final round to give yourself a chance to make an impression. And in this final round, that's what... Sonny Whiting, I'm sure, will feel he has to do now. 
you think it's a case Hollywood of go for broke for Whiting, go big or go home kind of thing? You yeah, most definitely. But still come in with that jab and see what opportunities you can come. That's what, that's what worked from the first round. Pagan itching to get a first knockout of his career. His first two bouts both settled on points. Good jab there. Pagan's got a very stiff jab when he lands it. Good movement by Whiting just to get away from the ropes, duck down, away from the pressure. Another left jab though, you mentioned it, Hollywood keeps coming. So Pagan likes to start off with that stiff jab and then opens up for, for a flurry, just likes to rush him in with a flurry, but always starts it with a jab. And it's always aggressive, it seems, from Pagan at this definitely, point. Definitely, definitely. Not willing to sit back and give his opponent even a chance to come onto it. That's what, ooh. Good shot to the body again, Whiting rattled. The third good body shot that Pagan's had mm -hmm. in this bout. And Whiting almost <laughs> turning his back and trying to escape to the opposite corner. <laughs> He's being told to turn and face and box. Bit of Michael Jackson moves in there. <laughs> He's going to need the quick feet. Being told to keep his head up. He can duck away from Whiting, but... He needs to be more aggressive. He's he needs to start throwing something off. Asking bodies. Pagan to come on, almost goading him. <laughs> and it just slows it down slightly once again, Whiting. In the clench. He's almost just not allowing Pagan to punch him now. But he's not doing anything either, so... Some would call it spoiling. And once again, another talking to... And that left hook just catching him around, and then right hand over the top. Right in. Punching up, slowing it down as it has been in the fourth. FD right hand trying to get through. Should he put been doing everything that. he had into yeah, that. Yeah, he should have been doing that a long time ago because it was working for him. That's what gave him that success in the first round. Dangerous tactic, but perhaps just going for the one hit wonder late on in the. Oh, that's Ooh. another big right. And perhaps it might pay off. <laughs> now, what's Pagan's chin like? And Whiting going for it, sending the ground. Oh. Pagan down to the ground. Whiting with a huge flurry. I think it's just been cool. Unbelievable. Sonny Whiting from nowhere, two big right hands. And Pagan crunched down to the ground. The comeback kid. Hollywood, did you see that coming? That was a Hollywood well, style finish to listen, that one. You clearly saw that coming. You said it just before it happened. Just thought perhaps he was trying to avoid the attention of Pagan and wow. look for a big finish at the end, but to pull it off. He did it, he pulled it, it off. Takes guts to go into a fight like that. Magnificent victory, his third of his career, Sonny Whiting, and his 15th bout. It's the first mark on Pagan's career. That will surely be one that he can learn from, though, going into the future. Well, so far, the underdogs have definitely risen. Just frustrated Pagan. It was moving away, avoiding the shots. And I suppose when you get a little bit frustrated in the ring, you can forget about your tactics and how you want to approach the fight. Perhaps that just gave Whiting the little opportunities with the two big right hands that he was able definitely. to land. And Whiten always stay composed. If you actually see, every time he did take a big shot, he never really showed it. Sporting from Whiting as he goes across to tap gloves with Davis Pagan. And as I say, I don't think many around this arena saw that finish coming in the way that it did. You mentioned composure as well. Well, before we get on to that, let's go down into the ring to Ricky Wright with the official verdict. Well,
gentlemen, your referee, Lee Avery, calls a stop the contest at two minutes and 43 seconds of round four for your winner by technical countout, Sonny Whitting! And let's hear for your runner-up, Davis Pagan. As I say, Hollywood, you mentioned composure and being able to just stay focused and keep your attention going. I mean, that's, that's something surely that young fighters, I mean, like Davis, Pagan, of course, can look at and learn from that sort of fight. That will be up in the kind of, in the training school, so showing people that this is what you could do is you keep your mentality correct. But you know what, he did show great sportsmanship just then, just giving a clap and a round of applause for his opponent, even though he lost. And that shows that he will definitely be back. Well, let's go down to ringside. Adam Thorne with Sonny with the post-fight interview. Second fight of the evening was won in spectacular fashion by Sonny Whiting. Sonny, how did that go for you? Yeah, great. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was nicking it, but got, got the knockout in the end. It was a really, really exciting finish. Yep. Uh, you, you hit a straight right in the first and you recovered well. Yeah, he kept, me, kept, kept, kept catching me with the body shots in there, but I kept, he kept at it. Yeah, you, you were... Some of the most unorthodox uh, defensive moves I've seen. You were ducking, diving, and spinning at one oh, point. Oh, yeah, yeah, just trying to get out of the way, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was an excellent fight. Slightly behind on the scorecards I had you, but brilliant win. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you very much, mate. Go and enjoy it. Cheers very much.